Hi everybody, it's Brad again with another Masterworks 3 video for you. Um, today what I'm going to show you is the correct way to import the, the fonts that are built into your computer in to, to turn them into embroidery uh, automatically. Now, the, the Masterworks program itself comes with a hundred some odd fonts um, that are all hand digitized and made specifically to be sewn out with embroidery. Um, but sometimes you might need a different font. Um, one of the ones that's built in your computer, say. Um, and in that case, it's not entirely straightforward the way to make those letters look good when you bring them in. Uh, so I'm going to show you exactly what I'm talking about. Go up to your text tool uh, on the toolbar here and left click on that. Choose the first one, regular old text, and left click anywhere in the field here. And it'll come up, it'll say my text. That's the default thing that it says. Uh, and as you can see, the stitches are right, you know, they're going the right direction. I could sew this out and it would be fine. Um, and I've got all these different fonts in here to choose from, and I can pretty much expect that any of these fonts that I pick, the letters are going to look nice when I sew them out. I, I can expect that. Um, now, if none of these fonts that are built in here are doing it for you, and you need one of the ones that's built in your computer, there's a way to get to that too. Uh, and the way you do it is go this button here that says TTF. If we left click that and put a check mark in it, then the list of fonts under here where it says font has been changed. And now it's showing all the fonts that are built into my computer. So you may have more or less than I do. Um, you know, you can just scroll through and find the one that you're looking for. If you hover your mouse over it, it gives you a preview as you can see here. Um, it really doesn't matter which one you pick. I'll just pick one here and uh, click on apply. And here it's it's yelling at me that the satin segment's width is too wide, blah, blah, blah. And that's because when, with the default settings that this comes in at, it's actually here. Let's zoom in on the E. See how it's made right here? The stitch direction is going this way when any reasonable person would have the stitch direction going this way for this. This is too wide of a stitch. Uh, and if you look at all the other letters, you see the stitch direction is the same all the way across. No matter what part of the letter it is, the stitch direction is the same. So the serifs here on my X, my T, you know, the stitch direction should be going the other way there. Um, and if you don't know any better, you just leave it that way and it sew it out and it looks terrible. Um, but it doesn't have to be that way. You go down to your properties menu here on the right, where it says style, change it from standard fill style to column style, and then left click on apply. Boom, it's like magic. Now, my stitch directions are changing dynamically, uh, my serifs are going the right way. Um, now, granted, it's not completely perfect. If I zoom out a little bit and then we go and look at this M here, it hasn't made the exactly the right decision here for the way this column's going but it's a hundred percent better than it was um, and you know a, a person who's not like really crazy about you know looking at every stitch is never going to notice that they're just going to say that these these letters are the right font and that it looks nice um, so that's basically that's basically it that's how you would bring in a true type font and actually have it you know choose the stitches to go in a direction that's reasonable um, again, you click the TTF button, choose your font, under style, change it to column. That's, that's it, um, instead of having it be a standard fill. So let's look at the standard fill again so we can see the difference. Hit apply. Of course, it yells at me. And, and there. Stitch is going crazy. Oops. And change it back to column. Stitch is going about their business in a reasonable way. So that's it. I'll see you in the next video.